Men at work fabricating several carbon steel pipes to form one single three-kilometer pipeline. This is the first ever inland fuel pipeline which connects from the main Tazama pipeline running from Dar es Salaam to Ndola. A bigger depot will be supplied by pipeline in terms of diesel uh, and that will then lower the cost of delivery of diesel to the Mpika uh, fuel depot. The consequence of that now is that most of the trucks or rather all the fuel required to be delivered to Northern Province, Muchinga Province, Lwakura Province will be picked up from here without having to, to go to Ndola. The construction of this pipeline is being funded by the Zambian government at a cost of 1.5 million US dollars. We are using Tazama employees to construct this pipeline. They will do the whole three kilometers weld it, test it, and uh, lower it into the, into the ground. Uh, we are thankful to government for the confidence that government has shown in us uh, to use local skills. ERB board chairperson Reynolds War and the Tazama managing director, Davison Tawete, conducted a joint inspection of the construction of the pipeline. Instead of running around the whole country uh, with trucks, fuel would be distributed by pipelines. Uh, it will save us money, it will save us wear and tear on the roads, uh, and the price of the product will be cheaper. Mr. Wawa says the inland pipeline, which connects to the 6.5 million litres government-owned Mpika Fuel Depot, will be used as a benchmark for future expansion projects to other parts of the country. When we use this project as a demonstration of concept, we can expand this to all of our provincial depots within the country. And then fuel distribution will all be done locally from uh, provincial depots. Masauso, Mukwayaya, ZNBC News, Mpika, Mchinga Province.